wash your hands, brush your teeth, take a bath, practice good hygiene. Practice. Take care of yourself. Do all of those things on a consistent basis. We live in a civilized country. We have water. We have soap. We have all kind of information on bacteria infections. We know how to, we know what to do in order to keep infections and diseases down. Do what you can to self. Take a bath, wash your hands, do all the things that is necessary to maintain good hygiene. A lot of nasty, lazy, nasty people in America. They have signs in public restrooms, especially in restaurants. All employees must wash hands, wash their hands before returning to work. It's sad that signs have to be put up like that, telling grown people to wash their hands. Yet, a lot of people still don't do it. A lot of people in this world don't practice those things. They don't do what is necessary in the way of good hygiene. A lot of people don't brush their teeth. A lot of people don't bathe on a regular basis. A lot of people do not wash their hands. This is very common. A lot of people are afraid of water. Women and men. Everybody going to experience some bad days. Where you might not be up to par. But. Some people live life not practicing good hygiene, however you want to see it, not doing the things that were that is necessary for being clean. Some people live with dogs. They smell like dogs. They wear dog odors. They don't wash their clothes. We live in this society. It's very common. That's why you oftentimes get sick. People working food processing plants, whether it be dealing with vegetables, fruits, meat, stuff like that, they transfer uh, 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 viruses.
I seen a, a young lady about three months ago in Texas. I was in a restaurant. I was in a store that had a couple of restaurants in it. I was up there ordering me something to eat. And I can see a young lady in the back uh, filling fruit cups. She didn't have nothing on her hand. She was dropping fruits, grapes and stuff, and picking them up with her hand. She was working with her bare hands. Touching, putting them fruits in them cups, dropping stuff on the floor. I sit there and looked at them. People come right along and buy them fruit cups. They don't even go and rinse, rinse, rinse them off. People are nasty. We live in a society where people do not practice, do not have good hygiene practices. Grown people. Nasty. Playing their butts. Go in the bathroom. Come out. Walk right past the sink. Won't use hand sanitizer. Never. Nothing to uh, prevent the spread of infectious bacteria. COVID came around. We see how a lot of people rebelled against everything that they told us to do. Oh, Dr. Fauci don't know what he's talking about. The Democrats, Dr. Fauci, yeah, yeah, the COVID. A lot of people died from COVID. The first thing they started out telling us, social distance. A lot of people fought against it. Wearing masks, fought against it. Hand sanitizer. A lot of people fought against it. People after COVID took hold, a lot of people running around talking about COVID was a lie. A lot of people were spreading COVID, had COVID, was spreading. I had COVID two or three times. I'm the type of person, I don't really fight the government, but I, I you know, uh, uh, I, it took me a while before I actually started using hand sanitizer. You know what I'm saying? I didn't fight the government when they said to do all the things. I started doing what I was slow about doing. I was like, well, if I catch COVID, I'm going to catch it, but I don't care. You know, but I didn't go out intentionally not doing it and doing things in rebellion to the government or, or being hateful to people like a lot of people were. But eventually I started using the soap and stuff, hand sanitizer, wearing a face mask. But a lot of people were running around with it and knowing they had it and were still lying about it. It's fake. COVID not real. Depending on what side of the political spectrum you on, people like to, well, it's the Democrat put it out, well, it's fake from the Democrat, and then the Republican puts it on, well, it's from the, the Republican. You know, you know, but it's sad. Just take precaution, even though. Never mind where it came from. People died. Lots of people died from COVID. A lot of people still got it. I had about three times. They, I was advised to take the shot, but I never took the shot. My children took the shot. I think my wife might have took it. But they doing fine. I didn't take it. I just dealt with it. I'm healthy. I always have been healthy. When I found out I got it, I had to take off. I had, I took off. 
you know, but a few days I would back up. I had the Delta variant variant. When I actually went to the doctor, found out I had, I had the Delta variant one time. But we live in a society of nasty people. And it's sad it's like that. You would think that grown people would have sense to want to take care of themselves, practice good hygiene, go to work smelling fresh, a lot of people don't. You, y'all, a lot, a lot of people don't realize how many young women out there who don't know nothing about how to take care of themselves. My wife taught my daughters good, but you got grown women out there, young women. I have dated them back in the past when I was younger, early, early twenties, teen. Young women didn't know nothing about how to take care of themselves. Didn't know how to time that time of the month. Yeah. It's bad. We live in society like that. Go to restaurants. People won't clean up, won't work. On the clock, supposed to work. Restaurant lobby is nasty. The counter nasty. The floor nasty. We a nasty society. I'm not a clean freak, but I can't stand filth. I have to take a bath. I'm on the road, so... By me being on the road, I have to shower. We take showers. I take a shower like every other day. You have a bunch of truck drivers out here who don't shower at all. Don't wash their clothes. Don't take care of themselves. Grown people, men and women. Won't bathe, won't do nothing. There have been times where I have been stuck. And I couldn't get to a shower for like three days. Being on the road, you can expect that. If you've been driving long enough, you can you can expect that, especially back in the day when I started driving. I used to do a bunch of back roading and stuff like that. Every time you get stuck on back roads. Three and four days running. Now truck stops in places where you can stop and take a bath and shower now more more convenient than what they were 20 years ago. But everybody, if you travel, you ought to have something where you can bathe yourself, clean yourself up. It's the society we live in. A bunch of nasty people. Hepatitis. That's how hepatitis get transferred. Nastiness. The government give us instructions. Wash our hands. Use warm water, soap. Use hand sanitizer and all that. Why would you not do that? Why would you not do that? You go in the bathroom, you the bathroom. Why would you leave? I'm talking about doing the number two. Why would you come out the bathroom and not wash your hands if water is available? Water, soap and water. People give you, provide you with soap, water. <laughs> in a way to wash your hand and to dry your hand. Why would you not do it? They're just total trifling. But yet people do do that. People are like that. Nasty. People give you hand sanitizer. You can buy hands. People would not do it because they, a lot of people just hate the government. They hate the fact the government tell me anything to do. COVID came. A lot of people that were rebelling against COVID. 
My wife was telling me about that, and I said, people get all in your face personally, purposely, spitting in your face, trying to give you COVID. My Caucasian people, they do that bad. They get right in your face and talk to you, right? I mean, right nose to nose. They purposely try to pass along because they hate government. Certain people in government. But you ought to want to take care of yourself, grown people. You ought to want to bathe. I like taking baths. I like. I'm on this road, like I say. I had to shower. But I go home, I get in a tub, though. I like taking baths. Let's practice good hygiene.